Mr. Fallon. All right. Gentlemen, thank you for coming. Um, I heard some of the questioning earlier, and uh, some of our Democratic colleagues were focusing on, are illegal immigrants less likely to, to commit crimes than native-born American citizens? And I think we're asking the wrong question. First of all, uh, in relation to that, we don't know if that's a true statement or not. We don't know if they're less or more likely because the studies that were done were flawed and they cite a Cato study, and yet in the Cato study they say, and I quote, we can't make a direct apples to apples comparison between Texas and other states. We also don't see studies done when we've had this Biden border crisis and this explosion. When you look at the Obama administration, about 1.7 million illegal encounters in the first three years, about the same with Trump, the Trump administration, and then it went up to almost 8 million. We don't know the impact of that yet. So I like to begin, unlike so many people in Congress, I like to begin with doubts and then end in certainties, not the other way around. I don't want to put my thumb on the scale. I want to know the truth, not their truth or our truth. There is no such thing as that. There's such thing as one thing, the truth. So we're asking the wrong question. Should we, we should be asking this question. Are we safer or not with mass unlawful migration? And I think I can answer that definitively. We are less safe when we allow mass unlawful migration. Take case in, port, uh, case in point in Texas, my home state. Between June of 2011 and March of 2024, there were 513,000 crimes committed by criminal aliens, 428,000 criminal aliens just in Texas were arrested that resulted in 187,000 felony convictions. So I think our job here in Congress is to make all American citizens as safe as possible, allowing for mass unlawful migration, sticking your head in the sand and pretending it doesn't exist or it's not harmful is absolutely ludicrous. It doesn't matter if somebody is more or less likely. Clearly, criminal aliens exist and they've committed mass amount of crimes in Texas. Sheriff uh, Wavern, great to see you again. You're a great American. <laughs> While there are several factors in play, is it possible that the rise in crime recently in Texas has some correlation to the rise in the number of illegal migrants in Texas? I believe you answered your own question a while ago. Mm -hmm. I don't think we can tell that, uh, depending on the documentation. Uh, we've actually, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, have seen a decrease in crime, but we don't know. Uh, that community, a lot of times, simply doesn't report it. And uh, we know that for a fact. Well, yeah, and who are the criminal, uh, Sheriff, who are the, uh, the criminal migrant gangs like MS-13 and others, who are they most likely to prey on demographically? Are they most likely to prey on white Americans, black Americans, or Hispanic Americans? Hispanic Americans. Yeah, they're, they're, they're actually disproportionately more of a threat, people of color in this country, to this criminal element. That's, that's it. And I believe you were part of the legislature in Texas where we changed the law where we can't ask immigration status of a victim to get them to come more out of the shadows to tell us who's, who's, who, who is attacking them. Yeah, it's about protecting innocence and justice. Uh, also, Sheriff, uh, my constituents are telling me repeatedly expressing concerns about the border and illegal migration. It's the number one thing I hear at town halls. What are you hearing from your, uh, your constituencies in Tarrant County? I think they're very concerned about the open border and have been for the last several years and the plethora of drugs that are coming across it and the impact it is at having our, to our communities because it knows no bounds. It's, is this just Republican? Uh, no, 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 sir. This is, this is the citizens in general. And is it just a certain demographic? Is it just white Americans or is it all, all shapes, all sizes, Americans. and shades? All Americans. Um, sheriff Chapman, you're sheriff in Virginia. Uh, are the, are, do you feel like border concerns are something that you hear about as well up there? And are you concerned? Well, certainly I'm concerned about uh, what's going on with the border and the impact that it's having the, across the country to include uh, Loudoun County, Virginia. Um, Mr. Beer, a yes or no answer. Uh, would you agree it would be potentially dangerous to allow uh, a complete stranger into your home? I wouldn't. You wouldn't do that, right? I mean, so no, depends I mean, on the circumstances. Fair. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, it's clear that somebody knocks on your door, you know who they are. I don't let them in either. I mean, I don't know. It depends on who they are. Well, you said no. A family with no. kids. Yeah. A complete stranger. Why shouldn't it be okay. too hasty? All right, so you would. Uh, a stranger, family, and kids. How many uh, strangers and kids are in your home right now? 
None that I know None. of. So you don't invite, uh, do, you, do, you, do you house any illegal migrants in your home, or I should just say migrants that have crossed the border in your home? No. no. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.